Hello everyone, welcome back to Art with Faith and Family Homeschoolers. In today's video, we're just going to be covering Lesson 21 in the Art Pad, which is Radial Symmetry Name Design Part 2. Basically, all we're going to be doing for this lesson is we're going to be coloring in the design we already made. And how I'm going to start out here is I'm going to first find any edges where I didn't quite follow my pencil marks completely, and I'm just going to clean those up. You can see a little bit down here, I'm not sure if you can quite see that on the camera, but there is a little line here that I didn't quite trace over with my marker. So I'm just going to go in with my eraser and get rid of that. And look for any marks like that that are similar. You can see there's a little one here around my A. Just a little bit more over here. Just take some time to look for any of those little impurities and just clean them up wherever you can. Okay, now I'm ready to move on to coloring. So for this, I'm first just going to pick out whatever colors I want to use and whatever color we're going to use for a certain letter, you're going to make sure that that's the same color we use through every single triangle. Say if I want to start out with this blue here on my M, I'm not just going to do it on this one up here, I'm going to have to do it on all the M's all the way across. That way we keep that radial symmetry in our design. One tip I have for when you guys are coloring is to just use up and down strokes like I'm doing here. This helps us avoid a kind of scribbly look and it just keeps everything nice and clean. Alright, once we are finished coloring, I'm just going to go back in and see if there's any places where I might have colored over the lines. Like here's just a little bit, and I'm just going to take my black marker that I used to outline the letters, and I'm just going to put a little bit of a thicker outline on the edge just to cover that up. I'm going to check if there's any other places where it looks like I might have gone over the edge a little bit. Here's a couple just in there. You know, make sure you're being real thin with your marker strokes so you're not making any huge changes that are going to disrupt the symmetry of the project. There's another little one in here. And I think that looks good. All right, we are then all finished with the radial symmetry project and we will pick up again next time with lesson 22.